A state Supreme Court justice held the key to putting legislature downsizing on the ballot here in Erie County this November. News 4's Lori Schultz tells us about his decision that was just handed down. Lori? That's right, Jackie. The judge's written decision is 18 to 20 pages long, but late this afternoon he summarized his ruling, which as it stands now means the referendum to shrink the county legislature will be on the general election ballot. Now, I was in the courtroom when he spoke from the bench. For the third day in a row, downsizing advocates, including Kevin Gaughan, gathered at State Supreme Court, where Justice Frank Sedita overruled a decision by both Erie County Elections Commissioners to scrap a referendum that, if approved by voters on Election Day, would reduce the legislature from 15 to 11. The proper officer to certify from everything I've received in evidence would be the legislative clerk. The commissioners threw out the referendum last week, arguing that the paperwork was certified improperly when presented to them by the legislative clerk. To them, state election law clearly required the county clerk to certify and transmit it. The judge had a different interpretation, and when summarizing his ruling, cited in part county clerk Kathy Hochul's affidavit. I'm very pleased that the judge did what was important here today which is to make sure that the voters of Erie County have a say on this important resolution. Noticeably absent from the courtroom were the two elections commissioners. An appeal to a higher court is now in the works. I disagree with the court's interpretation and the method of interpretation on the election law uh, very clearly. Where were your clients today? Uh, they were on the Board of Elections. They had other matters they had to attend to. With downsizing, at least four county legislators would lose their jobs, along with an assortment of patronage hires. Often referred to as the downsizing guru, Kevin Gaughan was ecstatic about the ruling. He initiated this legal challenge. The county executive and the majority of legislators jumped on. It was a, a proper ruling. It was well thought out clearly. The judge took this seriously and all of his comments uh, show a very uh, detailed knowledge of, of the situation and we certainly agree with it. This decision is a great triumph for every Erie County resident who seeks to decide for themselves the size and cost of their government. Well, again, a judge reversed the elections commissioner's decision, meaning this case is now likely moving on to a higher court. In the meantime, the county clerk did a survey today of other clerks around the state. Of the 10 who got back to her, she claims they all handled similar propositions via the same bureaucratic path as was done here in Erie County. Live, Lori Schultz, News 4.